Chapter on Al Hijra to desert or to cut one's relations with another Muslim, that is, not to speak to him on meeting him. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, It is not lawful for a man to desert, not to speak to his brother on meeting him, for more than three days. Narrated Aisha, the wife of the Prophet, peace be upon him, that she was told that Abdullah ibn Zubayr, on hearing that she was selling or giving something as a gift, said, By Allah, if Aisha does not give up this, I will declare her incompetent to dispose of her wealth. I said, Did he, Abdullah ibn Zubayr, say so? They, people, said, Yes. Aisha said, I vow to Allah that I will never speak to Ibn Zubayr. When this desertion lasted long, Abdullah ibn Zubayr sought intercession with her. But she said, By Allah, I will not accept the intercession of anyone for him, and will not commit a sin by breaking my vow. When this state of affairs was prolonged on Ibn Zubayr, he felt it hard on him. He said to Al Miswar ibn Makhrama and Abdul Rahman ibn Al Aswad ibn Abd Yaghuth, who were from the tribe of Bani Zuhra, I beseech you, by Allah, to let me enter upon Aisha, for it is unlawful for her to vow to cut the relation with me. So Al Miswar and Abdul Rahman, wrapping their sheets around themselves, asked Aisha's permission, saying, Peace on Allah's mercy and blessings be upon you. Shall we come in? Aisha said, Come in. They said, All of us. She said, Yes, come in, all of you, not knowing that Ibn Zubayr was also with them. So when they entered, Ibn Zubayr entered the screened place and got hold of Aisha and started requesting her to excuse him and wept. Al Miswar and Abdul Rahman also started requesting her to speak to him and to accept his repentance. They said to her, The Prophet peace be upon him forbade what you know of deserting, not speaking to your Muslim brethren, for it is unlawful for any Muslim not to talk to his brother for more than three nights, days. So when they increased their reminding her of the superiority of having good relations with kith and kin and excusing others' sin and brought her down to a critical situation, she started reminding them and wept, saying, I have made a vow, and the question of vow is a difficult one. They, Al-Miswar and Abdul Rahman, persisted in their appeal till she spoke with Abdullah ibn Zubayr and she manumitted 40 slaves as an expiation for her vow. Later on, whenever she remembered her vow, she used to weep so much that her vial used to become wet with her tears. Narrated Anas ibn Malik, may Allah be pleased with him. Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, said, Do not hate one another, nor be jealous of one another, and do not desert, cut your relation with one another. But O Allah's worshippers, be brothers, and it is unlawful for a Muslim to desert his brother Muslim and not to talk to him for more than three nights. Narrated Abu Ayyub al-Ansari, may Allah be pleased with him. Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, said, It is not lawful for a man to desert his brother Muslim for more than three nights. It is unlawful for them that, when they meet, one of them turns his face away from the other, and the other turns his face from the former, and the better of the two will be the one who greets the other first. <laughs>